so let's move to the topic of relationships between different fields and models in Django. And in Django we can have one-to-many, many-to-many and one-to-one -one relationships. So first uh, let me explain to you uh, what it means. In case you already fully understand uh, relations, uh, you can just skip ahead. But for those who don't really understand it, uh, you can stay. So the first and the most important relation is one to many. And here in this diagram, we can see that deans and students are in one to many relationships. So that means that every student can have only one dean and the dean can have many students and that is why it's one to many relationship if you want to see how many to many relationship looks like then we can see two relations between students and teachers and here student one student can have many teachers and the teacher one teacher can have many students that is why it's many to many relationship and one to one relation is for example student and his or her diploma because every diploma can belong to only one student and the student can have only one diploma well of course uh, if we talk only about one course so let me try to show it to you in actual Django models how it would look like. So first let's create class Dean models model and let's not assign anything to it and let's create class student. And here Every student will be able to have one Dean and uh, using the keyword foreign key we actually can specify that and in our application for example we would write something like Dean objects create Dean and then student objects create and here we would specify specify Dean as Dean and, uh, let's call it student 1 and student 2 so yeah as I said here we have only one Dean which can have many students but every student can have only one Dean and this was one to many relationship and here let's create teacher class models model also let's not assign anything to teacher let's put it first and here you know any student can have multiple teachers right so here we would write teachers and uh, as I write this Dean and teachers uh, this is actually suggestible uh, names for the fields so if we have the model called Dean uh, we call the field Dean if we have one to many relation and if we have many to many relations with teacher then we call the field teachers and this is just a suggestion you can call it any way you like but this is how it's usually done so many do many I think it's called many to many field 
feature on delete models. Okay. So now we can create, for example, two teachers. And in real application, we would write something like student one teachers at teacher one for example and student two would have two teachers teacher one and teacher two and here as we can see student can have multiple teachers and the teacher teacher one can have multiple students and that is why we call this relation as many to many and also as i showed you already for example if you say that we uh, we have one particular diploma with all the information about student and the, his course or her course and things like that. Of course, in this case, uh, this diploma will be assign, assigned only to one student and the student can have only one diploma. Only one diploma, um, at least for example, if we say that the context of this application uh, only one course for example I don't know computer science course in some particular university and this is application exactly for that for keeping track of uh, the students and teachers and diplomas in this case of course student can have only one diploma and diploma can be assigned only to one student we could uh, equals diploma objects Great. of course we would write something there some information here we would write one two one field diploma models cascade and here we would write diploma equals diploma one and here, we'll, here we would write diploma equals diploma 2. And in this case, we would have one to one field, right? If we say that student can have only one diploma. Maybe this example was actually not perfect, but yeah, I, I, I have just come up with this example and then I realized that actually student can, can have, for example, two bachelor's diplomas, things like that. But uh, let's just let's just imagine that student can have only one diploma. And uh, in this case, uh, we would have here a one to one field. And also one more thing is that we can actually import um, the models from other applications for example right now we are in the context of models guide application but for example here i have other class model and here we could actually use this model from the other application let's just let's just show the proof of concept it would be called other class model and we would say from models guide to import uh, models for example import uh, this class and that should actually work. So 
the other application here we would need to put it to settings also models guide to then we actually don't need we don't need that okay we made migrations and we can actually migrate and uh, yeah that looks perfect for the Django it worked it also imported other class model so yeah uh, this is working this is fine and I hope this lesson was helpful to you